Looks like another usual day at Gerard. It's 6.40 and nobody showed up to work yet. Oh, <laughs> oh man. This one's actually way smaller in profile. Somewhat just as good audio. Obviously not the same. This mic's like a hundred bucks. The Rode Pro, Pro Plus is, I think, I want to say like 350 bucks. It's 5.53 in the morning. 5.53. <laughs> Let's actually hope I have everything this time. It's been in here for two days. Oh, got it. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. All right, I got that all cleaned up now. Do you guys have, do you have a favorite ice cream? Pistachio. Cookies and cream is mine. I do like pistachio gelato, but never had the ice cream. It looks like another usual day at Gerard. It's 6.40 and nobody showed up for work yet. So in some work news, both people showed up, which is good. I can leave. Here's tonight's dinner. Jess and her dad made homemade pesto sauce. I finally got to 100 subscribers. It's real. Who knows how long it'll last, but it's real. The amount of excitement I have about hitting 100 subscribers, I'm containing myself. I am very proud of myself. It took me two years to get to 100 subscribers. They have said in the past that getting to 100 is the hardest. I will agree with that. It's incredibly difficult. It is a bit of a challenge to get there, but I'm happy to see those triple digits up there. I will cherish that shit the rest of my fucking life. Jess did some meal prep last night which I thought was crazy because she worked all day. She started meal prepping at like 10.30. First meal I took today was just vegetables. I asked for vegetables and chicken. Today for dinner, meatballs and shredded carrots, broccoli and rice, which is so good. Ty. Hey, bub. Hey, dinner time? Dinner? Dinner time, buddy? Look at the muscles on you, bro. Shout out. Oof. I'm so tired. It was a, it was a fucking long day. Very windy, kind of wet, and it's super, super cold. 9.52. Technically, I should be in bed right now. I am editing, which is always fun. I'm watching YouTube. <sighs> yeah, I was just really, really tired today. My dog does not listen to me at all. Come here, buddy. Come here. Tyson. I'm trying to get him to listen to me. Look. Pee pee. Ty. Hi. Are, are you? Oh my God. We got a little, little pump with a fucking howl yesterday. Now when Jess does it for a long period of time, he does a little soft howl. He's like, oh. <laughs> Oh fuck, it's the cutest shit ever. Oh man, my guy's just bustling through the streets. Oh, I feel so nice to fucking go home. Cleaning to do today, cause I ain't do it yesterday. So I got me some fucking work. Oh, and I got another subscriber, I got one more. I'm at 102. Mm -hmm.
I haven't even arranged it yet. Just the way it is. It's insane, dude. What I was I just ordered pizza and it's like kind of like my Friday tradition. I cleaned up the office. Minus that right there. I still gotta do some laundry. Still gotta clean the living room. But I'm so, so, so tired. I am I tired. Oh, it feels like the last two months. Fold some old laundry that's been sitting in the dryer for about a day. I'm not really gonna tell you how long it's been sitting in there because y'all gonna think I'm just fucking lazy. Oh. Yep. Actually, you know what? I should probably check these because I have a brutal issue with leaving shit in my pockets. One thing I forgot to add in this video was the reason I'm so tired, there's so many things happening at work. New staff, transitioning, you know, from one assistant to the next, just trying to figure out what systems work, trying to train all these new people in new places. And most of the time, it's exhausting. It's it's really exhausting. You're using all of your mental and then you have to use all of your physical to ensure that the work is getting done. And it's it's been a challenge for me. And I've been at this job for 17 years. It's not something I necessarily wanted at this point. When I was a lot younger and had a lot more energy, would have loved that challenge. After 18 years, 17 and a half, whatever it's been now at this point, it's challenging. It's challenging, I'm always tired. And then I feel like that, that lack of energy streamlines into my personal life. I always just wanna sleep or be at home. It's not, ah, it bothers me. It's, it's not what I wanna be doing. So you'll see in this video a lot, I say, oh man, I'm so tired. And that's one of the biggest reasons. And I have this internal conflict where I know I'm tired. I know I'm trying to do everything that I can to ensure that I get the best result for work. But I also feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I could be doing more. But then how much am I sacrificing my own personal time and my family time to do work stuff. And that's just something I battle with every day. So that's why I'm so tired. All right guys, hopefully you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.